this is basically like a part i would say like part three of like the huge battle going on between chisaki and like everyone else so this episode like is um we, f- we find out that basically uh toga baited like uh the girls in the, the basically outside to bring over um one of the bullets into the under- underground area where like chisaki and deku was fighting and then we get we finally get to reveal what uh, Aries, uh quirk was she has the power to rewind so basically um they don't really i guess they didn't really explain much about it but like in this episode she was rewinding um like i guess like she, she was rewinding deku's body to before he was destroying it with his 100 percent. and just overall this was a very like very emotional episode of like when they had they had like the song playing when uh deku was jumping up to grab airy and just like the whole fight was just like basically trying to finish off like Deku versus Achisaki. So I want to hear you guys, your guys' thoughts. Like, just, I, how in fact was, was this episode for you guys? I didn't really think it was that emotional. I thought it was a really weird place, <laughs> really weird place for the song to play. Um, because I didn't feel like really anybody's life was in danger. I don't know if it was just because Deku was a part of it. But I don't know. I feel like the song could have worked out better with with uh, the a million uh, battle, just because like uh, you know he wasn't the main character. You're not really quite sure what's going to happen with them so that was my mm-hmm. thoughts on this part of the song the song was fine I mean, but it's just like i just thought it was it just felt like a weird kind of place to put it if you're not the mc i don't think you deserve a song to be playing Jeez. while you do oh epic God. dude well, even mean... after Lumillion? come on again he just showed up uh this season so don't matter, man. uh i'm not gonna put too much hope <laughs> or hype on the guy i just want uh, to but... oh, go ahead Koo. yeah no i think the song would have been better off if they played it during the moments after he realized what Eri's abilities were, and he was going 100, percent like, yeah, uh, like during that yeah. battle with Chisaki, I think that would have made more sense, right? Yeah. Because he yeah. literally went from like zero to hundred like that, yeah, and he was just beasting it, like Eri's feeling, like she's worth something, like she's useful, she's not a curse. Uh, I think that would have been the more uh, emotional moment to play the music. Wait, yeah, the, the... you talking about like that slow song I was playing? Yes, oh. right. I don't know. I feel like it, they <laughs> they they knew what they were doing about it. Cause if you play that song, are you trying to say that they should have played the song like while Deku was fighting Chisaki? Well, I, I would think... imagine so. I mean, why not, right? Uh, I mean, of, like for it, was, sl- it wasn't fast pace. It was kind of slow pace because they're constantly talking about uh like each character uh specifically. Like Chisaki was doing his backstory while he was getting beat up. Uh, like Night Eye was trying to say like, oh, I didn't see this happening before uh you know like you guys can't win i saw the future already um and then uh deku was trying to piece everything together oh okay so this is what you do and then he's like okay like every thank you for your quirk your quirk is such a blessing blah 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 i i don't know i kind of disagree with that because i i feel like they they knew what they're doing with like the song placement just because like it was it was a moment for airy to <laughs> to like have like a sort of mini spotlight it's like Cause the song, I I don't know what the hell the song was about, but from what it sounded <laughs> like, it, it sounded like it was her her point to shine where she could openly break free from Chisaki herself. So that song for me it fit perfectly because everything was going super slow. The song matched the tempo of the scene, and then after that, after the song ended, that's when it started picking up back again and, and continuing with the fight. So I personally I thought the song was fine. Yeah, I I, was I, I agree with Brian because I think the song is more focused on Airy, like. I don't think it's really for Deku because, because like also it was I think it was last episode. Oh, okay. Last episode right. was when um Ari she was running away with like she was running away with Toga, but then she came back. And so this time she, I think this time it was like her saying like I'm I'm leaving for good. Yeah, I um for the song I think um the the song that they played for Deku's battle I still think it was weird because it, it sounded like uh, almost like. It just it, it felt like like Deku was becoming evil or something with how the song was being played really? out. Really, I I didn't feel the, that way. The, the, the song just sounded like uh like eerie almost like uh like he, I don't know if he was just because because I thought like um I didn't know like uh I got like thoughts of like maybe like Deku's just gonna just just kill this guy. Um, uh, okay, <clears throat> I don't I don't know. Really, dude, I don't know because I, I I watched like I played back it a couple times today and like just this just like the the song that they chose it just sounds I dude I don't know what. What I don't know what song or what part you're all talking about, but like they, they, even during you while while Deku is going a hundred percent with Ari on his back, the 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 song the 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 music is very upbeat. It's going. It's trying to get you hyped up. I felt it, but 
I, I don't know what like the only eerie part I remember is when they're looking back at Chisaki's past. That's literally it. If you um if you go let's let's say like if we go if we get like once we finish this, you should go back and just like just hear, hear like the um the part where like when like all those fists start flying and everything and just the song that's playing in the background. Um when what starts flying? <clears throat> when Deku just starts punching just you know the hell out of uh what's uh out of um Chisaki. Um I'm just about to mention I'm gonna mention real quick that um uh the just the brightness like uh the censorship like was really annoying in this fight because it kept going nah. on on and off and like it was really distracting for me i don't know for me i'm so <clears throat> used to it at this point in like any anime i just expected that but, like when some crazy shit i happen, i only so. i only noticed it during hero academia like i've never noticed it any other show but besides this one so like it's just so much more noticeable for me oh mm. I, um, I didn't notice anything maybe i'm just not paying enough attention but... i mean i watch a bunch of bright anime i guess <laughs> so. i'm just i guess i'm used to it so that's just... um oh and then like what you guys think of um chisaki like just turning into a he- giant even like more giant monster like bro chisaki's a giant bitch bro honestly <laughs> i don't know man this guy he basically <laughs> he was he was trying to make his his daddy proud but his daddy didn't approve of him oh yeah so that's he fucked up he just like made him sick with his quirk you pretty much gave him a brain tumor. Is what I know. Yeah, pretty much. Dude, Chisaki's a horrible character. I don't know what you guys saw him. <laughs> this was like, no, you don't see it. My vision is what's going to change the world. Don't you guys see that? Uh, and then blah, like, blah, that part, and... That part really ruined his character. Like, before, before that, like, it seemed like he had, like, ambitions and he was gonna... I thought he was gonna be, like, a good leader. And I thought he was gonna have, have like, a good... A, like, a huge army that actually, that, like, that makes the heroes... Like struggle a lot against his plans, but this whole his know. whole thing about how he uh he basically wants to give like give the bullets to the the villains and then give the the like the cure to the heroes and then control it like it's just, yeah, it was just dumb. It's he just... honestly he was just trying to just control a certain marketplace for just for just money that's such a terrible just that's <laughs> such a terrible like character design dude like exactly. just, why would you i that's why i like stain so much man because he was such a badass character like yeah. just, just to have all because his views are actually it's like dude like half of the hero organization are a bunch of pussies yeah, like they just want money clean them out <laughs> that's what he was doing this dude is like yeah i just want the money dude yeah. it's like bro really yeah it's just it's just it's just paying them yeah someone agree so like it's, and it's just yeah. it was, whereas like yes yeah, where st- stain was, stain <laughs> yeah. was basically calling like the hero industry like sellouts so yeah, yeah. It, was, it was great because so. this dude was standing his own he was making people do their shit and this while this dude chisaki's over here just like yeah i just want to control a certain marketplace for a drug and just oh, no, I mean, he side. basically like, he wanted to revive the Yakuza, and I was like, that was one way he was gonna do it, but like, it's, it's so bad. Like, it just, guys, it just, do, it just felt really shallow. Yeah. Do you guys, do you guys think that this is gonna like, uh, kind of like hurt the uh, League of Villains reputation? League of Villains? League of Villains? No. Uh, no. no, they're they're no, like no, no. because I mean they they, 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 were, they basically got like like because t- Lemillion he would have <laughs> been like a. Um, really, he would have been like a pain for them to deal with, and now they basically got him taken care of for free. And like, I guess, but okay, not yeah. anymore. I guarantee you, next episode, I'm gonna walk up to all my Anne Lamil and be like, "Hey, we can reverse your cripple if you really want to." And then All Might's gonna be like, "Nah, I'm okay." And then Lamil is like, "Nah, I'm okay." And that's how I see this next episode. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. no lie. Uh, okay, so that's, that's totally the, possible. I don't know. I don't does know he that. have the serum, or was that the was that a future plan? What do you the, mean? The serum? No, I'm talking like just, no, just, talking just Aerie. Aerie. walk up yeah. to them and oh, use Aerie. unicorn yeah. powers. Okay, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. yeah. <clears throat> Again, um, ultimate cop out ability right there. I I can yeah. kind of see it coming from Malo. God, like that. Just I'm okay. I'm okay I mean, like I enjoyed I'm the no. fight, I enjoyed the fight that happened, but like it was when they reveal it was rewind. I was like, God damn it, no, not. A rewind ability i hate that so much but i thought all you guys love time travel no, what happened what? no this is oh yeah yeah not, i love time travel. time travel of course like... dude that is basically time travel that's... rewind like rewinding time before something happens that is time travel not time that's not time Backwards. travel for everyone that's for one person that's that's like that's not it's like whoever she influences or you know, touches or no. uses the ability on well you know how that's, that's, it's, basically, has, it's basically like... healing like it's like op healing that's not time travel well, well you know how Dragon Ball has some Dragon Balls, so they can make a wish to revive the dead people. 
Well, Hero Academy has Eri, so you know now they have that mechanic where they can uh, help out the heroes recover. Yeah, yeah. I hope like they don't. Like, I hope they use the excuse saying that like she can't control it yet, so that's why they don't want to use it. Because otherwise, think... it'll be like a huge cop out for a lot of people. I, I think that's how it's going to be. Because as of right now, uh, Ari is so full emotional that she's just releasing all of her powers. It's like, right? I, I really don't want her. And once everything's calmed down, I don't want her to use her powers. I, I... So, like, just it just ruins like just all the tension. Like, if you can just it'd be like the Dragon Ball moment where like I'll just use use the Dragon Balls basically. I mean, just use Ares' powers. It, it makes sense that somebody would have this ability, though. Like, if somebody can remove quirks or, like, you know, get rid of them, that would only make sense that somebody can, like, you know, repair or, or bring back. I mean, it, yeah, but, like, I didn't yeah, want it in the story. Right now, though, because you know how, like, for for one for all, there's an all for one. So yeah. each quirk seems to have, like, an opposite of it. So, of course, I feel this was going to come into play eventually. But uh, kind of like how David said, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't have found it in the series and just leave it out. Yeah. Well, I mean, but th- that would kind of destroy, like, I guess, part of the story where where uh, Shisaki's dad was, or the person that took him in, was saying about how, like, oh, you guys' quirks are similar, and then she, he's just like, you know, figure it well, out. You didn't have like, to, you didn't have to mention it. You could have just not written it at all. Like, th- that, th- the story would have been even worse. <laughs> how? Like, then, like, or it's because that, that whole thing would have been because, like, how, like, how would the, uh, like, what would be the point of taking an area then? I don't know. Figure something I, else out. Just not rewind. Uh, uh, not rewind. I would so, been, uh, I would I mean, been okay. <laughs> If it was something similar to Eraser, but a lot stronger. But this isn't even on Eraser's level. It's like a whole different level to rewind something completely. Yeah. Well, because Eraser oh. just like nullifies. I right. Think. Yeah. Like, because her, her thing is just she can, at a certain point, she can legit make you non existent. Uh, that in itself is <laughs> broken. Yeah. But I'm, I'm pretty sure for something of this scale, there has to be some sort of like cooldown or like requirement that needs to be met in order for it to actually activate. Like maybe it's like a, I don't know, like a thirty day cooldown or some shit. Well, like, they made it, it sound it like has to have something. Yeah, they made it sound like as you know, like a mutation, but that opens up like like a bunch of other future possibilities for people's like quirks abilities, where they can just make them sound like even more broken. Um, but I guess we'll just have to just we'll just have to find out. I mean, to be fair with Chisaki and Eri's powers, it's been so open-ended that there's no way you can kind of put a limit limitation on their powers. So, um, yeah. again, I feel like they're living open-ended, so later on the road they can use it as a plot device. Well, I, well, yeah. I, guess we'll I mean, I guess. I mean, I, I feel like they, they leave it open-ended. Open, they leave it as an open... I don't know how to say the sentence, but we got, it, we got it. it's like <laughs> open-ended to a point where it's like, they do it that way so that we're still interested in these characters and what they can or are about to do. That's, that's literally the only reason that they have it open like that. Well, it seems like next episode is probably like the kind of the wrap up episode. Yeah. So maybe they, they yeah. have one more episode to explain stuff. Um, also, like like Night Eye is I'm sorry, like completely changing subjects, but like at the end when Night Eye was was saying like how he couldn't see the like the future or, or he didn't see like that vision. I I don't know why I was like, expecting it to be like different or epic, but I'm I'm guessing like uh, the reason why he couldn't see it is because like he, he couldn't like he he can't he he's not able to predict with Ares like a uh, quirk just because it's just like you know she's yeah that that that's pretty much what I came down to yeah as well. It's like he he there's mm-hmm. no way anybody's on nobody and their mother except for Chisaki knew whether what her quirk did. Granted, yeah, like this I mean, dude has the ability to see into the future, but it it go it, like if you go into the future and then you change something that's gonna happen, you just completely throw that entire quirk of seeing the future out the fucking window because you have like outsourced thing like airy and it's just you go through like a multi dimensional shit and it's actually annoying. I hate I multiverse <laughs> multiverse yeah. theory. You, you go through you go through. It's like he is Doctor Strange. And he's yes. seen all these multiple different universes, and he picked the wrong one to see into the future. It's I hate it. Well, it's so. Uh, I think the only reason why he was wrong like this one time is because basically because like with Ares' ability, because it's just like because if she's like rewinding, uh, she, if she's rewinding time in a way or changing it like in that sense, I, I, I'm like, I'm guessing like his quirk just can't see that. But, like yeah, at that point it's like. But everything of like actuality, like he he can he can predict and see. So I think this is kind of like a like a wrap up for Night Eye, like just knowing that his quirk is not. Uh, it's not. It's not. Full, it's not a hundred percent. Yep. 
I think it's I think it's more because like um because he still has like he still likes All Might so much that I think he's just like kind of thinking like oh my god maybe he won't die there's still a chance I mean one once you discover a, a, a character like Aerie and that kind of quirk it's it it changes the entire yeah. view of seeing the future because you have a person yeah, that guys. can legit change your body state into a previous one in the past it's like okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> your but, future uh... scene isn't gonna see that shit it should but it's not. Yeah, but to bring back to like Sasha's point earlier is there's basically the depending on how they use Ares uh power for the plot from here to from this point forward, there's really no feel of a consequence anymore. Basically there's no I, I guess there's no really conflict that they would ever have. If something were to go wrong or someone to get fucked up, like Ari can just rewind them back and everything's That's what I really hope doesn't happen. Well, like the only thing is we don't know like we don't know like what you know, like what happens when she uses like her, her quirk as much as she's if she's been using it. Uh they don't know like 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 how Brian was saying before, like we don't know if there's like a cooldown period, we don't know if there's like repercussions. You know, like but if, it, if she's it could happen. Time, like that's the thing. So that's what we're yeah. all worried about. Yeah. So, so just, I mean, it's more of like we'll just have to figure it out. I mean I'm I'm yeah. sure like it's it's something that's not just going to be able to happen right away because i just don't think she knows what's going on so i'm sure like like being in like the with like the heroes like they're, they're probably gonna figure out a way uh i would i would guess train her unless they're all of a sudden just like take her out this next episode <laughs> oh god um i mean that's still always a possibility as well i i, I don't know we'll, we'll we'll find out and then uh Next episode, we'll see if uh, we're going to be complaining or everything else about it. But uh, I mean, actually, honestly, at this point, I feel like this show is just going to be the next sort of man. Like, well, okay, not that. Wow. Yeah, I until that until the next arc happens, like, dude, literally the past, like, come on, bro. Legit, the past, like, four episodes, there's three episodes, we've been shit talking this show. Yeah. Well, I don't know, it's uh, shit talking, I mean, but, like, I'm just disappointed in the arc. So, but I think for, it can bounce back. But... Yeah. And we're all disappointed at Sword Art. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that's. Yeah. That's, Basically, we're, we're shit talking it, but not as bad as Sword Art. Not as bad as Sword Art, no. Yeah. But from people that I know that I actually uh, respect their opinions, they said this this was the weakest arc, you know, from Ru- Runers who read the manga. Dude, people with the but manga they... were saying like this was like a huge, like a it was like. Dude, like that a is a Reddit mentality. There's a but, bunch like, of there's so many people who kept saying this was like gonna be a really good arc, and like we should get yeah, excited. Yeah, said that so... Sword Art. And what happened? It's like I mean, if you if you yeah. if you pick and choose certain parts of the arc, then I guess you can find the light in it. But it's like overall, I'm pretty sure from what I've heard from majority of the people that have watched the show and not read the manga, is like overall so far this season of My Hero is like one of the worst. I yeah. I do think it's just that... not as engaging as like the other th- three seasons were. I do th- I do think though that the I think we would be think we'd be seeing the season differently if they if the the entire cast or like whoever like uh, in Bones actually was able to animate um, Lumillion's fight to like the fullest. I think that would have been a huge thing because it's just like because instead of just like kind of like it almost seemed just like flashes instead of actually um, instead of actually like um, um, like if it was just like fluent animation like you know top notch what we've seen in Bones, I think we would have actually seen the season as being better. Because uh, I do think the the highlights of the season was definitely you know a couple episodes of Red Riot, and then also Lemillion. But I think they cut Lemillion's arc short just because of that. Um, like if they if they animated like Lemillion's part like they did this last episode, I think it would have been. I think it, people would be seeing the season a lot like just at like higher regards than what it ended up being. Ah, uh, so I don't know, dude. You, you even you still think but, so, huh? okay? Like even like I. I love Lemillion as a character. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. This dude is the best hype man in the entire <laughs> show. He, if I were to have him as my best friend, dude, I'd be the happiest man on the planet. But it's like, you have Lemillion, and then you have characters like the MC, like Deku, come in. Yeah. And it's like, you don't feel the impact of the fights like you did in the previous big fights. Mm-hmm. That's my biggest problem. It's like, when you have these last two episodes, which is Deku versus chisaki i just don't feel like the there was like that giant intense emotional feeling that i usually had with my hero in general it's just it just it just isn't there i don't know what what it is it might be the animation it might be the character it might be the story but i just don't know what it is i think it was sick to see uh what deku can be at 100 percent Oh yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> like that, that shit was really dope. Cool. The dude literally went like Super Saiyan <laughs> two without even yeah. trying. It's like, all right, dude. But, yeah, but, but no matter how hype the the fights are, the story is basically what's killing it for me, honestly. And I, even if they were to animate the fights better, this is how the end product is. I still don't think I would find it like, like satisfying. I would like I would have, um, I would have been fine with like the story. So if it had a good ending, but it didn't. So like that's the why. Then he's not over again. 
<laughs> it's probably over Dude, next, this next episode. This arc is pretty much over. Yeah, it's over. Right? Next now, episode. You, you really just said, Shred, like, okay. oh, I think right. the next episode looks like I, you know, looks like I wrap it up. That's what you literally just no. said in this section, Shren. Watch, like the next episode, first 10 minutes, Lamilla gets his power back, everyone's A-OK, -okay, and then the, the I, whole Reddit's gonna rage rage quit. I can Flip I can table. see Lamilla's like well, still losing his powers, but like maybe they'll eventually they'll fix it, but But this is Reddit who said this arc was good. But the people but people that I actually know that aren't a part of Reddit, they, they said that this was the weakest arc. What if they um, are, Shren? What if they are? No, they're not. I know I I'm, I, <laughs> okay. I know this. Peter okay. <laughs> no, I haven't even talked to Peter. Like how Peter's yeah. the one you, Peter's the one that you immediately no. go to. Dude, Peter, oh yeah, okay. dude. Peter, Peter's a guy that basically says like everything's great, and then uh, proceeds to rate it as a seven. <laughs> so... Seven out of seven, right, Peter? Oh yeah. god, but no, I haven't talked to Peter at all about uh, Hero, but just like a few other people, they said this was kind of the weakest arc. But uh, I believe it honestly. Yeah, I don't know, but I, but like this last episode, I, I enjoyed the animation. Uh, I, I definitely think that the, the big part of this last episode was supposed to be the reveal with Aerie and just like what her quirk is and can do. That was definitely the big part. I mean, it was like I said, it was still cool to see Deku fight because I, I felt like this should have been the last episode because last episode almost felt like really nothing happened or yeah. like Deku was uh, or Deku was like doing stuff, but not actually. Um, besides that, I just getting impaled. <laughs> Well, Basically. I mean, they had to get to the climax first before they got to the resolution. So yeah, I, yeah, I feel like that's the, true. I feel like the build up was fine. But again, they made Shisaki look like a total bitch. They gave Eri the cop out power that I thought they were going to give her, which I was hoping yes. they wouldn't. But we don't know how it works yet. We, there's still the chance. Basically, she can rewind whoever the fuck she wants. She literally touched Shisaki and then uh, took confession out of him, rewinded him to the point where she took confession out of him. Yeah. And then now she's full on just healing Deku perfectly to the point right before the quirk hurts himself. But he still has the quirk on at all times. Yeah. But she can't like, stop. Right, but she's somehow controlling it perfectly. So again, well, it, it, I, I want to say she's controlling it. It's it's like ramping up as it goes. Like Shisaki said, like it's constantly ramping up. And even uh, Deku said it. Yeah. Like the the repair quality that she's doing is ramping up so fast. Like he can just keep pushing at like pat, like a hundred percent. All yeah, he has time. to he has to keep going though, or he or it's yeah, like he right. has to push his body further in order yeah. to, to even out. Right, but again, he's able to somehow find like the perfect combination for it to be like okay the whole fight. I, yeah, I feel that, like that's that's more on Deku's side. Deku's always his... been a thinker though. He's yeah. always been like he's like he's always going like through his motions, which I thought was really cool. Where because they're actually explaining like his thought process before things happen instead of just kind of doing stuff and explaining it afterwards. Like right, you know, well, a lot of bad anime, they're like, oh, how did you do that? And they stop and explain. Even even if you were to explain how it works, the fact that he she just is now able to utilize it and then now like her and deku are working out in perfect synergy to get this to work i still feel like that's a cop out even if you explain how it works okay all right we'll plot find out next week mc next plot episode. armor um, next episode yeah, indeed all right so that's gonna be it for my hero academia so we'll see what happens next week <laughs>